Hello, my beautiful little muglets. So, we have raised Vivian, level 60, 6 star, fully awakened. If it would load here. Okay, there it is. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get too many um, Molagoras. We don't have any anymore. Um, I got this to plus one, which is as high as it goes anyway. Went for the one turn cooldown. Five turns now, I guess. Still kind of long, but whatever. And uh, plus three here. You know. Cool AoE. This is our current artifact, the one that, you know, the event artifact. I don't really know, like, I'd probably rather give her something for more, like, offensiveness. Uh, here are her stats currently, uh, 214 speed. Unless I'm going with Judith or Oxlot, she will be the fastest, meaning she can give the buff and immunity and everything straight off the bat. So in, like, an arena setting, she... I would need Oxlots or Judith because there are other dudes that are probably going to be faster most of the time. But just having a hero that can give three turns of immunity and increased attack to the whole team is already really cool. Yeah, again, stats. Attack is a little low. Crit damage is okay. Crit chance should be fine for the most part. I might pair her with Celestial Mercedes, which gives another like 7%, so she'd pretty much have 100. Uh, 7.2, so yeah, pretty much 100. We're probably gonna try her in Banshee first, actually. Uh, we usually just do Arena with these new heroes, but I think she can really shine in Banshee. So we're gonna take Vivian, Bellona, maybe Destina. I don't really know yet if we even need a healer. I mean, probably we do need a healer, but it's just that if you don't have the DPS, then she's gonna one-shot you anyway, pretty much, with that uh, powerful hit. Would like to go full wood team. Not sure if I have four decent wood units, though. So yeah, we're gonna try it with Vivian, Bellona, Biken, and Celestial Mercedes first, but I think there might be a penalty with non-wood, like there is with Wyvern, but we're gonna go in and check. I always check the skills every time I'm trying Banshee, but then I, like, forget a week later because I'm not doing it. Uh, we are going to do full auto, of course, because I don't consider it a good team unless it can full auto. Three turn attack boost, very nice. Since she is uh, much faster than the rest, uh, there shouldn't be a too long downtime for the attack buff, which is nice. Well, maybe for Biken because she attacks twice here. Uh, but for the others, well, then again, also maybe Mercedes because she as well, you know, gets a bunch of combat readiness with her ult. But that should taper off a bit later, because, of course, they do have cooldowns. So here we are starting on Banshee. Uh, should be transforming somewhat soon. Uh, we don't have a healer. We could consider, like, giving maybe Bellona the, the Bloodstone stuff for a little bit of healing. Although I'm not sure if that would really help. Uh, blood something. But, uh, so here is some AoE from Bellona. Got that uh, 5 focus. Uh, main, main goal, of course, is to... Try and kill those dudes. Unfortunately, it's uh, not going super well because their AoEs weren't like timed goodly. They didn't have enough time to get back on cooldown. Oh, here we go. Tornado. Tornado action and a second one, which was enough to kill them both. Very nice. And uh, now she's going to do some... Okay, yeah, we probably do need a healer. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Celestial Mercedes is not going to work there. She is uh, definitely too squishy. Probably gonna try Destina. She will heal a little bit with her basic as well with this. Uh, I'm not sure if I should change it, but probably not. I was thinking maybe put her up front with Candlestick, but honestly, the Banshee doesn't attack too often, and when she does attack, it just hurts way too much, so... Uh, I'd rather maybe give her this. Maybe try and give her some, some speed. She needs two speed items here. Uh, so... That doesn't actually work at all right now. We don't have anything. Do we still have free gear removal? Yes, we do. So we can give her this necklace. I actually don't even use a KT's. Ring is gonna be a lot harder as the only speed health ring I have is on my Oxlots and I don't wanna mess him up. Our fallen Cecilia also has one. I don't know, maybe I should actually try her out. So we're gonna take that for now. I think it's better than what we have even though the health does go down. Um, but we get more crit damage for our Destina. Very important. Just try it as is, because Destina is not going to be the one to die, I reckon. And we're going to try it again. So yeah, regarding the little Misty Chains, I know how that stuff works. Yeah, and then the extra damage to non-wood. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to kill the Banshees here. What? Maybe we need an actual tank here with like Arius or something to help mitigate the damage. But it's like, then we really won't have any damage, so I, I, I don't really know. But it looks like sh that actually did work. Yeah, because that was not devastating damage at all. 
some kind of knight with uh, healing capabilities. I don't know if that exists. Yeah, but this Vengeful Spirit is the actual problem skill here. Calls upon a Vengeful Spirit to attack two enemies, including the target, inflicting poison for three turns, unless you have immunity, of course. When the target is already inflicted with poison, the Vengeful Spirit will be called back again to attack all enemies and inflict a random enemy with a debuff that will damage all other enemies one turn later. Damage dealt increases every time using this skill. Okay, so having immunity up as much as possible. There's poison. And then there's the there's the extra attack. Very strong. Oh yeah, and that extra debuff. But we should get rid of at least the poisons here. I think they can be removed. As well as the other one. So yeah, Destina is actually quite good here. It's just, um, yeah. I think when she calls the Banshees the second time, we're not going to have enough damage to get rid of them anymore. No, nope, not quite enough damage, unfortunately. Very close, though. Biken can kill two since she just did her second and now her ult. That should be fine. But she shouldn't be summoning any more minions. I think if we can kill her now, this would be our first successful full auto run, even when our Bellona died super early on. It's not very stable, but maybe we can switch around. Ooh! Ah, oh, thank God, Destina coming in clutch with that healing. Biken would have died from the poison. <laughs> uh... Yeah, definitely not stable. If we can, if we can do this, then not only is it going to be incredibly close, but there were a lot of factors that have already been in play here that we could have died several times over from. So I think we can do it, but way too close for comfort. So something needs to be changed. Check out these boots, 70 counter attack boots. Okay. I mean, it could just be bad luck that Bologna died super early. We're going to do one more run here. I'm going to cut out most of it because, you know, just commentating throughout the entire battle takes a while. So let's just see what happens. Ah, uh, damn. There goes Bellona's ult right before she splits. And also, she shouldn't do that AoE. I thought it was a health-based thing, like sort of like says when he get, gets you below 50% HP, then he attacks again, but that's not the case. Poison regardless of stacks. So immunity, super important here. We might try Fallen Cecilia instead of bike and see how that plays out see if it's any more safe here we go getting the immunity after the initial poisons from the banshee so we shouldn't get any any more oh well she can still do the whole uh second attack thing since we already have poison now but uh we'll see yeah probably another attack now because we already have poison yes in fact that did very bad damage maybe destina coming with the clutch heal yes okay that one was not only faster, but also felt definitely safer. So it could be, even though it felt like we got super lucky on the first run, we actually got unlucky. And it just looked like we got lucky because we barely survived the worst possible scenario. Now we're going to try Fallen Cecilia instead of Biken, um, just because. All right, well, for now, we're going to take it off of Oxlots, but then give it back right after we check out what's going on. Unless, of course, it's like a really, really safe and good run and not takes too long either. Um, but I think, you know, since, I mean, Biken can do a lot of nice damage, but with when it comes to the Banshee stage, she, I'm not sure if she might kind of mess that up a little bit. Also, do those shields stack? Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> look at that massive shield on Vivian now. Well, you can't really see it, but look at that. It's a pretty nice shield. Ah, damn, and there goes Bellona's ult again right before splitting. Uh, I mean, looks like they're still going to be killing one after the other here as well, so... Uh, it doesn't help that much, but... There's at least a higher chance that there's going to be some AoE, you know, before one dies. Maybe when there's three left, it would still work fine. Bellona with her AoE... Unfortunately, did kill one, but here's another AoE. She does some nice damage, honestly. I mean, 7,500 there. AoE from Bellona. Destina's hurting quite a bit, though. AoE plus AoE skill nullifier. That's nice. And getting rid of all those poisons. And that's plenty. All right. And now it's just trying to get rid of... So this definitely is taking a lot longer than with Biken in there, obviously. When you switch out a pretty strong DPS with a tank, it's that's just going to happen. But... So far, no one has even come close to dying, and I think that's more important, consistency. 
maybe i mean i guess that comes down to preference and how you will like play because me personally i'll be doing something else while i'm autoing this stuff and check it every now and then so if run takes like four minutes instead of two minutes it doesn't bother me because i, I may not even check it for 10 minutes you know um, but like if you're the type that would rather have like, you know, one and a half minute runs with 50% fail rate because you always have one eye on it anyway, then, you know, that that could suit you better. Uh, for me, though, this seems very stable, very good uh, so far. But that was just the first run, so who knows. But yeah, the very first Banshees I've been able to auto, I may have been able to do it sooner, but I didn't really give it much, you know, attention um, until I got Vivian because I because she sounds really good for that, and she is, definitely. I don't really know how we're going to tackle Arena, to be honest. Vivian's boost doesn't include any combat readiness. I mean, okay, it would be way too overpowered if it did. It's just that if I were to make her go first via, like, Ox Lots, then, you know, we could have immunity and an attack buff, but then the enemies are going. If I were to boost Biken to give us then some combat readiness, it's like, well, at that point, you know, we have three units going or all four of our units going and I don't really need the attack boost anymore or maybe even the immunity. So it seems like she might be slightly better for a more bruiser team. Maybe not super wall, but like not super cleave either. But regardless, I would like her to go first. It's just that speed isn't the only thing she needs. She doesn't need any effectiveness, thankfully, but but if you want her eventually to do some damage, you do need, you know, crit chance, crit damage. It depends on what you're going to be using her for, of course. Also, this uh, definitely I don't think is going to be super necessary for Arena, at least. I don't think it's really necessary anywhere. Maybe for a different mage. Maybe it's time to re-gear Judith to get that 240 whatever, because I think I gave some of the gear to Oxlots. Because I don't know how, how well Oxlots and Vivian is going to pair. But with Judith boosting everyone, and then, you know, Vivian going next, and then having like two strong AoEs, Bellona and Mercedes perhaps, might be enough and then even if there is someone alive after that you know we have immunity so they can't mess us up too bad unless it's just pure damage uh like dizzy for example you won't re really have to care about with immunity you know oh yeah i took my 12 speed sword from oxalots to begin with and gave it to vivian but we need to give her something else uh unfortunately we're super low on crit chance even though i'm not sure if crit chance is really going to be that important honestly since we're doing third skill first going to get the taga hell book on her as well and for celestial mercedes we're going portrait of the saviors this team for example sure why not it doesn't look fast i have no idea how this is going to turn out but let's give it a try. I just hope Judith alone is enough to boost them all up to the front because otherwise that's not going to work out very well. Here we go. Uh, but okay, so attack buff, immunity, Bellona time. We're gonna burn that though. Get some more damage in there. Missed everyone. And here we go. Portrait of the Saviors actually won't proc on the bear dude because he's under 50, I believe. But for everyone else, it should. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. What are you gonna do, Dizzy? What are you gonna do? We have immunity. Get out of here. You know? Can't. Yeah, immune. Everything. Uh, he might be a little annoying, but uh, yeah, he's pretty annoying. Youch. But we still got an attack buff. Let's get some of this. Oh yeah, he counterattacks and stuff. Well, what if we stun ya? Hmm? What are you gonna do then? Okay, we can burn this now. Damage dealt. Get out of here. Whoa! Damn. Yeah, she does have the greater attack buff, but <laughs> really nice damage, jeez. Uh, for pretty much all the others, I don't think we can do anything. Like, uh, Arbiter Vildred. We need Lilibet still until he gets nerfed. Well, even then, maybe. Way too many speed imprints, plus Judith, and then Moonlight Kin. Uh, we don't have our... Watcher Shuri built very well right now, so yeah. Well, we can try this one. There's the Shuri imprint, but Shadow Rose is still a bit slower than Judith, naturally. I don't know, I kind of feel like with this team, we it might be better to be a little bit more on the defensive side, perhaps? It's like, we're kind of letting that immunity go to waste, because we hardly give them a chance to attack anyway, and then, then it's like, what's even the point of the immunity? It saved us against the Dizzy last battle, but like this time, it didn't really make any sense as you can see yeah so i mean her ult is super nice but it still ultimately comes down to who's faster you know and i think that's like at least as far as cleave goes that's always going to be the deciding factor regardless of their skills you know 
whoever goes first wins. Here, though, we I would like immunity for the Dizzy. Eh, I'm gonna go in and try. Dizzy, unless she is not built very fast, is going to probably outspeed us. That was probably close, but we got it. Burn that up again, and uh, yeah, I really don't have to care about uh, Dizzy at all. I'm really thinking though, like maybe, maybe Biken. You know, I, I, I would feel a little bit safer with Biken to be honest, just cause she could give us another bump of combat readiness if it would be necessary, but I'm not sure it is. Cause our slowest one is Mercedes with 182 speed. And you know, with a 30% combat readiness, it's gonna be pretty hard to not have her at least there, I would say probably. But yeah, I suppose that's all I'm gonna be doing for now with Vivian. Uh, all in all, still super, super awesome character, design-wise, skill-wise, just general, like, power-wise. Doing a lot more than I expected, you know? Her AoE is super nice, very unique as well. Killing one activates it again. I uh, could also think about playing with that in Arena as well, like having her maybe slightly slower than a different AoE, procking that, killing someone, have it proc again, you know? Definitely something to think about. But just for a second skill, I'm not sure she would deserve a place on a PvP team. Uh, some, just something to think about though, it's definitely her ult. And I think that's probably gonna find much more use in PvE than PvP. But uh, in the right team, I'm sure she can do really well in PvP as well. It's just, yeah, you still need to be fast. Build-wise, I mean, you, you saw her build already. Uh, in my opinion, speed is gonna be the most important even for PvE, because you want to get that attack buff before the rest of your DPS start going crazy, you know? And also, so she can cast it again sooner. And uh, then, of course, focus on damage, because at the end of the day, she is a mage and not a healer, and she can do some decent damage, as you saw. Uh, AoE, decent damage, and then her basic skill does good damage as well. Also, a critical hit gives her more combat readiness. But her basic has a 1.2 multiplier on it, so... Yeah, even it can do some good damage. As far as Molagoras, I would suggest getting plus one first here for the minus one cooldown. After you get the plus one on her ult, contrary to what you see here, I'd probably actually recommend going for Vitality Drain next. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was building her for Banshee and I just kind of wanted to see that nice AoE damage, but I really think, you know, getting this up to plus four to make that potentially 30% combat readiness for every basic attack in PvE is going to be amazing. And I think neither of them are really super important for PvP, because you mainly just want to do this first of all. And then probably Thunder God's Cry will be more important for PvP if you last, you know, two, two turns. 30% more combat readiness means getting this off sooner again. And uh, yeah, just, just good all around. But um, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below regarding Vivian. Personally, I think she's one of the best, most interesting characters that have come out recently. But feel free to share your thoughts down there as well. Leaving a like if you didn't do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.